Holy crap, that's so low for something that has a stroker engine and a Whipple and all that stuff. Holy crap. Let's find out why. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I am gonna show you right now a crazy thing. This, this truck has a stroker engine, it's got a Whipple, it's got headers, it's got all these goodies. And it puts down jack shit for power. Well, let me show you what's going on. And then, I'll, and then I'll tell you why it's only putting down a couple horsepower. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Why is it making... What the heck? There's only three on this side. Oh, yeah. The stroker and all that stuff is in here. We got an eight-speed transmission. We have a Texas speed stroker engine, Cook's headers, an inner chiller somewhere, and a Whipple, and uh, I don't know what the other box is. But so all this fun stuff that is in the bed here is going to go in this truck. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned because uh, this is going to be a crazy-ass build. We're going to turn this V6 truck into a monster, and then we're going to go ship it over to the Middle East somewhere. I mean, the truth is that it's really, really hard to find a short bed single cab truck like this. In fact, we looked. So we're going we're gonna to convert it from the six-speed automatic to an eight-speed automatic. We're going to convert it from a six-cylinder to an eight-cylinder. We're going from six to eight on both sides. This is wonderful. And then we're going to end up doing some like crazy ass stuff and hope to God it all works. So stay tuned with us because this is going to be a project for the ages. It's either going to work or not. And that would really suck if it doesn't. There is a lot of good stuff in here. We got everything from hooks, headers, brand new 427 Texas speed engine. In the back is the GM uh, 6L90. 6, no, 8. I think it's 8 speed. Oh. Yeah, we're doing 8L8 eight, eight, eight 90 uh, and then top it all off, it's a Whipple. Top train stuff, yeah. So we are going, and the rear, we're doing a rear too, um, from the V8 trucks, and it's just not here yet. Racing steering wheel. Yeah, racing steering wheel. So it's a full built, like literally full built. This is going to be a really cool truck, but these, these trucks are can based, so it should be, should be all plug and play and then literally you just load a different operating system on it and different factory uh like it's got a body control module all that stuff right put the, all that from like a v8 truck hmm. so. yeah this is uh your most basic truck you bought short bed single cab um like it's got the plane it's, i think it's the power windows power windows yeah. Truck power yeah, but it still has like a vinyl floor. It's got, yeah, it's a very, very, very basic truck. It's good for being light. It's got to move. Yeah. All right, so what's the plan of attack? Front end apart so I can pull everything up the front. Huh? And then once all this is off, it'll be real nice, easy to work on all that. Yeah. Once the, like this is off, radiator, like it's going to be nice. Nice hmm. and simple. Brad, AC condenser, Brad support, front Brad support. Oh my goodness. If I was doing, like we're going to win these trucks just as a dealer, that's how I would place it. Where, where's that the took 25 ones? minutes. Dude, but it's like exactly the same. It's just back an extra couple inches. Like yeah. The same pump is in the same place. The thermostat, like, it's still warm. <laughs> it's all the same. Is this same. water pump going to bolt on the new engine? Are these accessories going to work? I think we might, I don't know. Because I was thinking we might need... Because, like, this Brad tensioner's here, but look. It's still got the freaking casting for the tensioner where mine is. All right. So we is might your just, rad hose on this side lower? Like, is this all the same? I think that's all the same. I might use yours as a... I mean, yeah. we might have to get, like, the other tensioner and put it over here and then get rid of this. Like, do a little bit of change up. We're also putting a blower on it, so True. Kind of I don't know what all changes. It's so tiny. I wonder if the front cover is the same. Dude, it looks exactly this. That's so weird. What's all this up here? Dude, that, that place. I don't know what the fuck that is. Is that a part of the front cover? It's on like 50 inch lift. Okay. Is it? Yep, that's a part of the front wow. cover. Wow. Like 42. It goes all the way up there. I wonder if this engine has the scavenge pump oh, on top. What else would that be? Like the LT2 in the vet's going to have a scavenge pump for that. Do you have the video of the racing cover? I mean, to find out. Right. Well, well maybe. I'm not pulling the power. This thing's coming out of one block. I mean, you may pull the accessories. <laughs> the bed. Why? This thing is, uh, yeah, I what? guess the trucks still have. Yeah. Why the hell would you do that? Vacuum well, mechanical power steering. That's pa vacuum pump. That's a vacuum? Mm-hmm. 
Does so it have an electric rack? It has an e-rack. Huh. I just... What cooler is... The pump's for uh, your booster when you're in force on a mode. I don't know why this has it. If this has some kind of cylinder deactivation. Yeah, it's, it's got it. Does it? Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's, well, it's got two cylinder mode? Or, or does it go down to four? Six to four? Go down to four, I think. Hmm. Was this oil Three, and two? trans? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's nice pulling it all off like that. I had mine almost like this, just this first half was still on. I took just the outer half off. I like how it's a two-piece rat support. You can just pull that top off instead of the whole thing. That's pretty mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be nice to get out without having to crawl up over top of everything. Hell, leave the hood on. Leave the engine trans together. Think about it. Maybe. It's going to have a lot of weight in the back, but... It could be on the We'll see. You have fun. Wow. This is interestingly weird. Yeah. Tiny, isn't it? Yeah, that's what she said. Same heads, just cut down. The only difference is this has a scavenge pump. Oh? Ran by the cam gear. Hmm. What does that do again exactly? I'm just not, well, I mean, it pumps oil from the valley, but I don't know what it's doing with the oil. I don't know what about this. Maybe it's just the way the DOD works, or I don't know. But. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it pumps up the oil for the scavenge pump and pushes it down to the DOD stuff. We don't know. They're not pulling it apart. Right, right. <laughs> Unless they want to. Are the uh, fuel pump, high pressure fuel pumps the same no, size? Smaller that's smaller? Okay. I'm going to drop an LT4 on this. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm curious to get the valley cover off because I'm going to put the plate on it. Right. These three bolts are a part of the valley cover. It mm. comes up here. That's going to be fun to get off after that's our TV. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Once that's off, I'll, you know, pull the starter, pull the rest of the harness off, get under there, pull the drive shaft, pull the exhaust, pull the plugs off the trans, and then just pull the whole thing out. Mm. So that has a secondary chain drive in the scavenge pump. Yeah, it's just a little... It's got an intermediate balance shaft, too. What? It's a balance shaft for the engine. Oh, what is this thing? No, that's an idler to drive the Oh, the scavenge pump shaft. is actually there. Oh, it's a balance shaft. Yeah. Okay, now it makes more sense. I'd be like, why would they put the scavenge pump on this? That's a hefty shaft. Dude. That's why it needs to be timed. Yep. What does that do? God it just, it's just V6s. balance for vibration. Yeah. Wow. That's insane. This thing can come down to, looks like two cylinders. Looks like you can deactivate four. Right there. One, two, three, four. And then just run off the front too? Oh, no, it's only going to deactivate, it's only going to go down to four. That's two cylinders. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can take an exhaust. Damn. That's serious. Tight clearance is that. Wow. Why couldn't Damn. they just run that with a tensioner? Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty crazy. I'd never thought the top one would be an idler. That's why there's a dot on that. Yeah. You gotta time it to the can. Yeah. Well, everything's in the way of everything. Yeah. I would just bolt that back up and not even... I mean, how would it even... It's stopping right there. It's stopping with something. Oh, it's hitting... No, this plate is hitting the cam gear. So no, it cannot come out. Until the cam down. Not surprised, honestly. So a balance shaft to lead on something like this would be easy. You just take a chain off. Uh -huh. Who would have thought LT4s are easier than six cylinders? <laughs> Ready. So you took that off because you're saying that the boom only reaches so long? The engine hoist is 43 inches from the, point, the, you know, the fucking... The piston? The piston itself to the hook. With that on there, it was 49 inches from the bumper to the hole I need to reach on the engine plate. So now, it is 38 inches. Perfect, got an inch to spare. Five inches. First mod complete, or was this count as the first mod? No. I mean, it counts as a mod, but it's not complete until the new engine's in. Okay. 
the so. steering wheel. Cool. What's the plan of attack now? Maybe exhaust all. So this car used to be a V6. It is a 2014 that we've done an extensive amount of modifications to. A Texas Speed, I think 427? Yep. 427, a Whipple Supercharger, the Stage 2 inner, Force Induction Interchiller Package. We've done a whole slew of stuff, and we've been fighting, trying to make the electronics work. And just a second ago, we heard the click of the starter trying to fire this bad boy up for the first time. Now, we probably have to do like a, a bass tune for this. What's your bass tune on it? We already oh. put a bass tune on it. <laughs> We're going to see what happens. You're on engine start. Oh gosh. Is it going to fire up? Okay. Oh, or... Stop! <laughs> okay, give, give it a sec. It's been here for, it's been here for like months. It hasn't started in months. This used to be a V6, like I said. So we turned this we turned this car into a truck. We have a lot more work to do on this, but like number one here is getting this bad boy started. Oh man. Pressure red, but it could be because of the oddities with the electronic here. Uh, we're, you know, number one, check the oil, make sure that the oil is in there. Is the it's oil in there? It's in there. The oil is in there. And uh, uh, we might end up having to put like a mechanical cage on this thing. Um, we might not. We don't know. This is kind of like uncharted path at this point. So we'll uh, you know, figure it out. But we got first start for a brief second. <laughs> And oh my god, somebody keeps on messaging me. <laughs> This is uh, first move. We've already done first start. This is first move. Good. See you later. Guys, before we go further, I had to interrupt you right here because apparently that's what all the YouTubers do. Uh, I just want to let you know about the CSP Charity Apparel. Uh, you can see it down below on the video and the link is in the description. All profit is going to the Coatesville Youth Initiative because we wanted to run a fundraiser that benefits underprivileged children. And that's what we're doing. You can see right now that to this date, we've made $371 uh, in profit, which is all going to get donated at the end of the year, and I'm going to double that. Additionally, we got some separate donations for $300 and $500, so we're really do we're really making an impact. I think I think if my math is right, that's over $1,000. <laughs> so, if you guys don't mind, hit that link below. Buy one of the CSP Charity Apparels. All, it's going to a good cause and you get a nice shirt with a decent saying. I think so. And uh, if you do want to donate directly, there is a fundraiser link. It might be to the right of this uh, uh, or the left of this video. I don't know where it is, but it's something new with YouTube. I don't know if I have to set it up with every video. It might not even be there, but it's in one of the videos. Don't know which one. So again, thank you. Now let's get back to the diner run.
was hoping for more, but the stock airbox is holding us back. It's pulling out like three pounds of boost, so that that sucks, but it is what it is. It pretty much needs the stock airbox for what we're doing with it and where it's going. So that's that sucks. Says it's perfect. I'll take perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I wish you would come man. Yes. Thank you. Guys, thanks for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. I, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We took a V6 truck and uh, made it into something that it was never supposed to be, which is like some awesome sauce. It is a torque monster, and with the uh, uh, the Mickey Thompson R's on it, it actually hooks pretty good with 700 some foot pounds. It's a uh, it's a wild truck to drive, a really fun truck to drive. It will be back because we are turning it up before it goes over to Qatar. So uh, I'm excited about that. It's 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 such a fun truck. I thought I thought, man, I'm not gonna like this truck at all because I I usually don't like you know fast trucks. It just feel they feel weird, but it just it's a barrel of fun. So I I, I really I really really enjoyed this build, and uh, I want to thank the customer for uh, going through the build with us because it was it was fun. It was tough, but it was a fun build. And sorry guys that we didn't get footage of a lot of the build because. Well, uh, Josh went to a different company to work, and uh, uh, it was also during COVID, so we weren't. I just wasn't replacing anybody at that point. So, eh, sorry about that. Okay, guys, stay tuned for the next one because we are going to the track. We're going to, going to set the records in the C8. We already got the fastest with Eric's car and my car being 132 and change, 133 mile per hour, and we're going to take the quickest next. So stay tuned for the next video. Oh, surprise, uh, might be going live shortly because we have a, a new vehicle that we're adding to the fleet that I've been very excited about. So definitely subscribe and hit that bell for that. Okay guys, we'll see you on the next one. Adios.